Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. EA just continues to change everything about this team of the season. Now we're only one day away as Live Tot starts tomorrow, but we learned some more information and news yesterday that shakes everything up even more. Are we having a new schedule for team of the season this year, apart from all the changes that EA have already made? Yeah, we're going to talk about that today because there was an unexpected vote dropped yesterday and it might tell us a little bit more than you think. Also, we had interesting SBCs yesterday with tradable Team of the Week pack supply. Prices are moving, and the full team of the TOTS live cards has been leaked. we got to talk about that and how it's going to impact things today and tomorrow on Friday. If you're excited for today, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's cover yesterday's Wednesday content on FC24, starting with the player SBCs. They keep loving these pundit pick SBCs. Guys, yesterday we had Crystal Palace, Adam Wharton, center midfielder SBC. He's got long ball pass and press proven play style plus. It's a decent card. I mean, you look across the stats, he's got a lot of 90s in there. Good passing, good dribbling, good physical, solid defending, even decent pace, medium high work rates, five star weak foot. It's only 50,000 coins. If you have some, if you need somewhere to put, I guess, some 84s, fives, and sixes, since this is an 86 rated squad, maybe 87s as well, you know, it's there, right? It's just kind of there. If you're a Palace fan, you're stoked, obviously. I was stoked with the Vandevin last week as a Spurs fan, but if you're uh, not, then it's just kind of like, okay, there we go. Now, the bigger SBC was yesterday. EA actually did it, guys. They dropped the 81 plus tradable team of the week upgrade. This is the first time that we have had tradable team of the week supply in an SBC pack the entire year. And it, yes, it is 81 plus. So some of those informs from earlier on in the year are packable from this, and they're no longer extinct on the market. Some of the Evos that have made team of the weeks extinct now though the team of the weeks are actually viable off the market because of this sbc which is a good thing about that the problem with this sbc though is it's 85 rated which means it's 31,000 coins to get done and you can only do this sbc one time before it expires next wednesday which now we're kind of envisioning that maybe this will come out every single wednesday you'll be able to do it one time to get yourself a tradable team of the week card yes you could say there is a reason to do this you could pack mbappe you could pack messi you could pack a high rated inform the likelihood of that though guys is very very low now with this tradable supply informs have dropped but not really a lot because i think most people realize that okay yes it's bringing some supply in but at the same time it's only one time per week that we can do this informs went from about 21 to 22,000 coins yesterday and right now they are 19k so they are down a little bit and they could drop a little further today but they're not like tanking and they're not discard 10,000 coins price because that sbc is only repeatable one time you can only do it once and then it goes away basically for the week so that's why informs aren't exactly mudded so if you've been missing out on an older inform card that you've wanted for your team or for an evolution check the market because they might be available now now the qu next question is do we need to invest in informs as they're about 19,000 coins and for me if informs got down to like 15 maybe 17,000 coins then potentially i would look to invest but um they're gonna have to keep putting out good sbcs i know team of the season is gonna start and we're gonna have more sbcs and they'll probably still keep requiring team of the weeks so there could be an investment opportunity here but they need to go a little bit lower the team of the week prices do for me to want to feel confident about investing in those right now now yesterday we also had road to the final madness guys big day of champions league yet again yesterday and we have to fit this in because some of these upgrades are coming in very soon Kimmich is getting a plus one and Tony Cruz is getting a plus one after Bayern move through and so do Real Madrid after yesterday's games. So GG's if you had either of those guys, their cards are getting upgraded on Friday along with the winners from Tuesday and the winners from today's Europa League and Conference League matches. Now on the flip side of the coin, you've got players like Gabriel Jesus that are down horrendous. Gabriel Jesus was a 1.1 million coin card yesterday, even when as high as 1.6 and now is down to 400,000 coins. It's about time this card came down in value. I mean, guys, I don't know. This card has never been worth his price the entire time he has been released in packs. I'm just being completely honest. For a first touch plus and relentless plus striker, yes, the stats are good, and his other play styles are solid as well. 
but I, I think now he's a reasonable price. And some people actually might be trying to get their hands on a card like this because they can actually afford it now. So um, Jesus is down, of course. Gavardiol is down as well because City losing, right? 110,000 for Gavardiol. He was a 600,000 coin card. That is just what happens when a card gets knocked out. Uh, that's crazy that that card is only 110K, but only one play style plus. Does he have an Anticipate? He does not have Anticipate. Still a decent card, though. So that's one thing uh, to kind of watch out for. Uh, speaking of the upgrades, coming in hot, hopefully today. Hopefully today, guys, we get that Bayern upgrade. 89 Dyer going to a 91, and he will fit into the Evolution Showdown winner's boost, and he'll able to go. He'll be able to go to a 92 rated card, as does Mukiele. And Mukiele was upgraded. This is why we're hoping that Eric Dyer can be upgraded pretty fast, because Mukiele already got upgraded yesterday. This card, especially if you put him into the boost, looks absolutely freaking insane. So GGs if you did Mukiele, GGs if you did Dyer, because both of those are getting the plus two for the wins, and those showdowns are getting upgraded so that's one thing that i'm looking forward to with dyer using him in champs qualies today on thursday so that's kind of the biggest news from inside of the game with the upgrades kind of relating to the ucl and champions league now let's move to the big news guys yesterday there was some leaks beforehand for content that we were going to get our first team of the season vote and then after the content drop it actually happened we had ea tweet out and their website allow us to start voting on Bundesliga team of the season. It seems really random. They were voting on team of the season out of nowhere, right? Last year, we had votes for community tots, prem, like almost every single league of tots we were voting on. And this is now just the first vote that we are seeing. What? Why is this the first vote? What about Premier League? Because does this mean that Bundesliga team of the season is going to be the first week of tots i want to get into that here in a second here's one thing that i noticed obviously you've got a decent set of goalkeepers midfielders and attackers but i think it's a very good representation of who's uh, involved here in those particular parts of the pitch but for the defenders it is like all leverkusen which to be fair is deserved there's no Bayern defenders here in the defense there's uh, no Hummels which a lot of people were feeling like he should have been fit into this vote as well if a player is not in the vote there still is a chance they could get a tots moments card whether it's an SBC objective or I think potentially impacts I forget how they did that last year if the moments cards were players that were in the voting that didn't get in or if it was just other players in general uh, this was my team of the season Bundesliga vote guys I voted just like a different team of the year off of a I want to use these cards meta not who deserves it yes Openda should he be in there over Gerasi probably not I loved Boniface from Future Stars I totally want that card again Javi Simons and Musiala are always cracked same with Verts and I was like you know what let's try Slaughterbeck and Ta I almost put in Simakan but I put in Ta over him it's like you know what that's going to be a really good center back card if he gets a Taz card. And then Frimpong and Grimaldo, I think, are locks to get in. So there's definitely, from this vote, a lot of players that are locks. But there's a lot up for grabs as well. And once again, reading the terms and conditions, voting begins yesterday. And it ends on the 21st of April. So basically, it ends early Monday morning for most of us in our time zones. And it says the final Bundesliga team of the season selection will be determined by a combination of EA and community votes. So here's the thing. If the voting ends on Monday, April 22nd, are we getting Bundesliga team of the season before Premier League team of the season? That is the biggest question right now. And while we can't actually answer that yet, assuredly 100%, it does seem odd that we are getting a vote for this before we would get a vote for Premier League Tots, right? We always know that it goes Community Tots, then Premier League. Well, this year, we're replacing Community with the live Tots cards, but then I think we still expected Premier League Tots to be after that, but is that actually not happening? I want to look back at last year real quick, guys, because EA still has the website up from FIFA 23, Team of the Season, and I think the voting timeframes on this might actually tell a different story, although the whole thing is still unknown. Last year, take a look at this. Last year, we had the vote for Community Tots on April 10th, and it was open for three to four days, kind of like this vote is as well. It closed on April 13th, and then Community Tots didn't actually get dropped in the game until April 28th. So it was almost, not quite, but almost two weeks of time from when the voting ended until we actually saw the cards in 
the game, right? Actually, it was two weeks last year. Then for Premier League team this season, the voting started April 17th, ended April 20th, and we got the cards May 5th. So there was a large gap between when we got the vote and when we actually got the cards in game. That could mean, number one, that if there's going to be that large of a gap this year for Bundesliga team this season, then we could have Prem Tots before Bundesliga, and it would go Live Tots, Premier League, and then Bundesliga, and it could happen that way. But if it's not going to be that way, and if EA is going to get these votes calculated, turned around really quick, since this is the first vote, so then after Live Tots, we would have Bundesliga team this season. That's also something that seems plausible as well. Here's what I think is going to happen. If we are getting a Bundesliga vote, and if it's going to go off of last year's time frame, I think there actually might be Premier League team of the season still, but we just haven't got a vote on it, and they're just going to release a Premier League team of the season without us voting on it at all. That's the only logical thing that I can see right now, unless they're going to take the results of this Bundesliga vote, turn it around really fast, and have a Bundesliga tot squad the week after. So basically a week from tomorrow. Because again, live tots is first. We're kind of looking ahead in the future, right? Live tots is first. It's all kind of the discussion right now around what is next. So I don't think it's been confirmed 100% by anybody, but that is one thing I wanted to point out to you guys. And I want to, let me know, what are your community TOTS votes or your Bundesliga TOTS votes? Rather, I want to know who you guys are voting for, who you guys want to see in. This does definitely get me excited for team of the season, man. Like seeing all these players down here, the potential for the votes. There's a lot of great midfielders. Daniel Malin getting in here. For Rich from Stuttgart, right? He had the crazy fantasy FC uh, SPC as well. Even some of the strikers, like can you imagine Undav? He'd be cracked. Fuel Krug, uh, Wind from Dortmund, even Marmouche. Like so many of these guys would be so good. That's the fun about team of the season voting as well, so that's kind of the big news yesterday in regards to the schedule of things. It's making us think, that is for sure. Now, one other thing about Team of the Season live cards. Let's kind of reel it back in, bring it back in for what's happening this Friday. Tots live cards, right? EA confirmed on the loading screen that the leaks were true. Campaign launch, they get Team of the Season cards with the live arrows at the top. The club wins two games in the next four. They get a plus one overall. And if the club scores eight goals in the next four games as well, they get another plus one with all those domestic league games starting this Friday tomorrow, actually. So if there's any live cards that are coming out with games tomorrow, that might be something to keep an eye on. Now, here's the kicker. We have the full entire leaked team, guys. This is a massive team of players. Now, it does include SBCs and objectives according to foot scoreboard, but this is the whole entire team, right? We got the Modric, the Bruno, the Romero, the Klaus, all those big names. But then it also just looks like there's going to be so much fodder with this team, guys. A lot of people are looking at this leak and saying, Nate, this looks very mid, and I don't want to be opening my packs for this. I want to be saving for the future real team of the season, whether it's Prem, whether it's Bundesliga, whenever that will start. Well, we know when it'll start, a week after tomorrow. But I kind of agree with that. This promo team does look kind of mid. Again, the stats are a prediction. That is one thing we have to remember. But I think the stats are probably going to be close because I think the people that are creating this graphic are actually thinking through, okay, these are live TOTS cards that are live and they have to have a little bit of room for upgrades like we've been talking about all week. So I don't know if Sobosly is going to be 93 rated or 94 rated like a team of the season version of his card would probably be if he were to get a real TOTS card. He might be 91 at most 92 to then give him that potential to go up to 93 or 94 with the upgrades. But guys, a lot of fodder and a lot of people are like, nah, Nate, I'm not opening these packs. A lot of people are like, well, how did EA figure out a way to ruin team of the season already? And it's kind of just all based off of the hype. They are tots cards. They will be boosted up. Hopefully weak foot skill move upgrades, hopefully double play styles. I don't know about the inclusion of the three play style pluses. I don't think that all the cards that come out are going to have that. Maybe a couple of the cards tomorrow will have three playstyle pluses. That's something that we have literally no idea about now. Maybe we'll learn something a little bit more about that. But since that's the case, I'm looking at my pack save right now, and I'm like, I think I'm not going to open as many packs. Now, I will say, all of my packs that are e-figs, like I have some 82 times 10 e-figs packs, they're kind of hiding in behind. That's the only problem right now, is that those are hiding. I do think I'm going to open those, and maybe even some of the like 583 plus defenders packs and midfielders packs that I have saved up from objectives. I think I'm going to open those, but my big packs, 87 times 4, 82 20, 85 times 10, 
I don't think I'm going to open too many of those just because I think I want to save those for the real team of the season squads. So we'll talk more about the live tots team tomorrow and how I think that's going to be impacting the market tomorrow on Friday. But one thing to think about as we're heading into Thursday today and how this looks kind of mid, right? People are already starting to suspect that with this looking as mid as it is, based off of the leaks, that some of the market might start to rebound and climb back up in prices because people are going to see that new team and be like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go back out and buy the cards that I want to play weekend league for TOTS rewards. Those cards will be playable for and packable through rewards. So there will be gameplay demand this weekend. And let's be honest, it is the beginning of team of the season. So there's hype regardless. I'm watching the top tier, most rare meta cards on this market right now, guys, because I'm not saying they're going to rebound back and go crazy high in price. I'm just saying there's a potential that come this Friday night after content, especially with the weekend league delayed start, I think that's going to impact things. We'll talk more about that in tomorrow's video as well. I'm keeping a close eye on the market because it just feels like there could be some cards and there's going to be a lot of opportunities to buy cards, whether it's the most recent Golasso players, some of like the full birthdays, maybe even a team of the year. I just think there's going to be an opportunity where we could see the market rise up a decent amount late Friday night after people see the new cards that come out, maybe open some of their packs. And then uh, it'll depend on the SBC content too. But I just feel like we might be a little underwhelmed by the cards that we will get. And if that is the case, the rest of the market could go up. So it's just kind of an early call, an early kind of thing that I'm seeing and how it could play out depending on how the cards look. That's the only thing we don't know right now about those live TOTS cards. We don't know their stats. If EA somehow juiced them up and the pack weight's high, then it might be a different story. But as of right now, we feel like we kind of know how it's going to go down. The promo itself looks just average. The cards themselves are probably not going to be that crazy high rated, and that's going to hurt some of the hype on this game for them. So before we get to that, we'll talk a lot more about that tomorrow as well. What's today on Thursday? Of course, Division Rivals Rewards. I hit Division 2, first time of the year, actually grinding out rivals this season. D2 Rewards, I'm hitting those today. I mean, to be honest, I'm saving most of the packs, right? The 80, what is it, 86 fours or something like that for uh, Division 2. I will open the other packs, though, so I can get more rares and non-rares, to which I can put into the 81-plus player pick, craft into the 83 times 10s, continue to save those. I think I do have one 82 times 11 that I can finish off as well just try to get again that low level grind continuing on the menus of this game make sure you're doing the daily play it's a very important thing to do as well um, and all the other objective packs a lot of those objective packs are tied to warm-up series um, under the live tab and they're not out for forever like i know the cup is still around but i even think it would be smart to get the cup done even though it's still out for another week, try to get that cup done. I'm looking at myself saying this. Get it done this week or today if you can before Weekend League starts. That way, once Weekend League starts and there's TOTS cards to play for and rewards, you can focus on that and then rivals this next week. So I'm going to try to get the cup done today. Um, and then, of course, people playing champs qualifiers today. There'll be a lot of that going on. There's no award today or reward for the TOTS daily login. Today's going to be day seven of eight. On Friday, tomorrow, we'll all get an 84 times two. Other than that today, guys, it's probably going to be a bit slow. Thursdays always brings marquee matchups, so I wouldn't expect a lot to be happening there, except for maybe a few people opening a couple of packs here or there. Uh, one thing we're looking for tomorrow is where are the exchanges going to go? The exchanges are all expiring. I hope they just get rinsed and refreshed with maybe a nice TOTS dynamic here on the on the badge. And then I hope they add in some new um, exchanges as well. But we have no idea at this very moment, guys. We'll see if we get leaks today. We'll see if we get any news and information about what TOTS Live is going to bring with SBC's objectives and the like. I'm mostly a liquid apart from lazy listing some cards on my transfer list. We have about, I don't even know, like 8.3 or 4 or something like that million. And we are ready for team of the season to be here. But let me know your comments down below in the comment section. I wanna hear what you're thinking about those leaks, how the team looks to you. Are you excited for tomorrow or have the leaks kind of put you off, right? That's the bad thing about leaks sometimes. We get excited for a promo like team of the season, but then we see the leaks like that and it just kind of bums us out. Maybe we'll be surprised by EA. Who knows? But if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I will catch you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link's down below in the description as well. If you want to watch us live, play the game, chat it up, and then uh, enjoy the menus, you can click that link there. But I'll see you guys in the video tomorrow at the very least. It's been Nathan Buddha Cannon. Peace.